So, starting off this episode, continuing on from the last one, apologies for a bit of a delay, I've been going hard at ARC, you know, many other things coming from that, as you'll see in the next few episodes, so I haven't had much time to post it, but we decided we needed to get the tech fast, we needed tech 2p, we needed tech turrets, so with a few of the friendlies, shared artifacts, traded them, decided to jump into a boss with a few folk, and get that knocked out pretty fast. After this, we were going to hit up the dragon and get 2p, because we knew this Russian alliance was going to come and try and fucking smash us we'd heard there were six tribes we'd heard there was 10 tribes we didn't know but we definitely knew there were hard teamers and we knew they were fairly competent and they'd been on smalls for a long time holding servers and a lot of my guys were new had just joined and we hadn't really worked together before what i didn't know is while we were in the boss somehow they just happened to time it perfectly so they pulled up with three different tribes and one of the tribes was the aimbotten tribe that decided to aimbot my guys outside of the cave and start raiding us while the other guys set up their fob and pushed on us and within honestly about 15 20 minutes they had full tech fobs outside of the cave it was pretty fucked up and to be fair i mean if there weren't teaming it would have been a nice tactical fob there but the teaming was a bit bullshit but i'll just let the video play out and you can see how it goes gg's it's over gg yeah yeah but i'm dead what I'll just add to that as well is we were about to get off for the night after this because I had work early and a few of the other guys did. I mean, we had been going hard as fuck at this. Some people had been up for like 30 hours or over 30 hours and we were actually playing. None of our guys were account shared and it was like kind of just us playing on our accounts unlike a lot of the other tribes. But yeah, we knew it was like not a fucking good situation so we had to kind of put our heads together and figure out what the fuck we're going to do and they kind of attacked us at the worst possible time or you could say the best possible time for them for definite but i'll just let you see how it all played out yeah i just got <laughs> just shot once but five bullets fly into the same spot immediately even after i'm dead if you can get that ammo in here i don't care if they get that ammo if i'm honest they do you're gonna change the situation but if you get the ammo in here it changes things a lot isn't the front of the base no, you can and you can't. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Lee has been in and out. If the turret boat's there, you can't. If it backs off, you can sometimes leg it in and then someone can grapple your body. Right you. If someone's down there, start, start making it. What the fuck? Get that fucker. Ball, That's ball, absolute nice, 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 nice. Did he get a rocket off at all? No? Yeah. And he took the auto to the auto. The heavy to the. Oh, let him let him come in. I have a player. Let that guy come in next time. Has everyone got grapples and some weight? And then we need to grapple weight that, and then I'm gonna knock grenade the cunt. Then we're gonna cage. He has to come right in, mate. I need him dead close. Grapple, everyone grapple. It's stuck. It's stuck. I think I might have got him. Is he knocked out? Yeah, I can, I can, I can. Okay, this, this turn just. Uh, okay, okay this, this turn just repaired. This tech turn. Uh, is anyone, anyone on the boy? Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. He's fucking cut. So at this point it was getting on, it was getting later, there was a lot more that had went on that I haven't put in the video, just back and forth holding them and like it was pretty fucking bored and it was kind of a stalemate. So the NA guys were getting on and that was time for the EU guys to jump off and then once the NAs got off we jump back on and that's how we were going to play it so we'd be down to maybe two defending against six plus because obviously gg were there so if they were a full six 12 we really didn't fucking know and that's kind of what was going on i was just helping them set up get the tech turrets down get the base a bit more defended because we had literally just got tech turrets just just within seconds of them hitting us and luckily that would buy us more time it seemed like the most logical choice and then you guys would jump back on in the morning like, they, they couldn't have raided us. If we had TPs, yeah, and we had that base done on your end, them guys and us, 
unwipeable. Like we'd have just TP'd up, farmed, and we'd have just held them out. They'd have wasted so much resources, and we'd have just pinned them. But because we don't have TP, because we don't have the backups, you know, two or three days, that's all we needed. Um, we, we are f kind of fucked, man. So uh, it was the next morning now. A lot of time had passed. These guys had been defending for 14 hours uh, against a lot of people. And from what I gather, they seemingly had infinite resources. They just kept coming in Ascendant Flak. And you've got to remember, this is very early game. We didn't even have a Thilo because the two died on top when they hit us. And, and they were out with we using them to level on Titans. But these guys had a monumental amount of resources that, you know, they must have grinded out. Maybe they duped. I don't know. Um, but there was multiple tribes, so they probably were just getting shuttled, if I'm honest. There was only me from our tribe defending, and another person that was kind of AFK and on and off. The attacking tribe spent most of the time on cooldown. They kept dying, we kept narking them. I mean, they didn't get gas max, they just kept like repeating the same shit, so we'd rinse and repeat. But we had talked about, even if we came out of this other end, which we wouldn't because we didn't have TPs and we were kind of fucked, by the time transfers happened, we were all going to get smashed because we were so busy fighting each other, it didn't make any sense. And then they announced they were going to be bringing new servers. When they announced they were going to be bringing new servers, we kind of knew that was what we should be doing. And of all the servers we went there, we probably picked the worst one. And we weren't really prepared fast enough for what was coming our way. Adding the fact that they managed to get a TP right outside the entrance there, what you're looking at now and they TP'd Stegos in. Now we thought we had prepared for everything and we didn't realise how fucking broke the mini TP was and how close you could get it to enemy foundations and at this time the turrets weren't shooting correctly. You could still do the rocket jump glitch bullshit. I mean the game was fucking broke. So yeah, it, it was definitely a difficult defence especially with nobody really there. Then sometimes the guy would shoot off his rockets from the Stego, it would fly right past, it would actually go through the wall and blow up turrets in the back of the base, like it made no sense, I checked all of the turrets and the member had filled them, she'd put the ammo in, you know, it was just, yeah, I don't personally think these guys used an exploit for that, I think the game was just fucking broke. Back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock from here, back up. He's knocked the fuck out. Get ready to kill. Nearly killed, man. Wait that shit out, nigga. So. Is there in the body again? I killed him. Got his kick. Rocket runner, rocket runner, rocket runner. Service drop on Tuesday. <laughs> I think it's gonna go a bit better this time because uh, now we know what we need to do to focus on. I'm coming to repair the turret. Ten bullets more, nice. I mean, if you get up and you look at the top ten. Survivors on terms, we're, we're really low on ammo now, though, mate. I mean, we're talking 150. We're basically defending this with no ammo. Oh, 
I don't know what's going on. The turrets have got ammo in there. They're, they're not shooting. They're just checking them. I, I don't know what to do. Like at that point, like that's kind of out my hands. I know strategies, but if the turrets won't fucking shoot, like what do I do? Can you give us a fucking brave out speech, JC? I'm, I'm fucking in need. This is fucking bad for us, mate. It's looking bad. Oh, he's gonna rock at me. He's gonna rock at me. Don't do it. Let me live, sir! Got his kit, got his kit. Oh man, there's lo I got loads of kits. Holy shit. There's fucking 3 4 kits there with the flak ascendant. What's this? Nice, nice. This is the fatness I needed. Get some foundations now, boys. He's back, he's back. I'm coming up now. Fucking rocketed and killed the Yankee, man. You think I can place a sieve on the ass of the trike? I wonder if it's lit in. You could try, you could try, man. Just uh, do it fast because he's a fast so at this point the last remaining non-russian tribe as you can hear was defending against multiple other tribes by the sounds of it couldn't really see what was going on there i was busy defending my own base against multiple tribes here as well um it was a shit situation i mean we kind of decided we should probably just go to another server um and you know accepted that small tribes was just pretty much fucking teaming on top of that, our turrets were filled with advance. There was ones in the center of the tech. There was a lot of tech there for DPS and knocking them off, but they wouldn't shoot. I don't know why. Um, There's no like retarded one setting and out like that, but all I came up with at the time was maybe he's like at the beginning of arc, they broke it so like it would focus on them, but then it wouldn't shoot for like three, four seconds, like it had one and settings on. So maybe they coded it wrong, but even where inevitably it led to a much shittier defense and it really fucked many tribes over, including the rocket glitch. Now they did patch that, but the amount of exploits and bullshittery that has come with ASA so far is really not impressive and it, it does show to me that they are going on the same path as they did with the original but maybe to a worse degree either way it was fun it was shit taking these hits you know it's not nice getting fucking hard teamed on by a bunch of bellends but that's just the way of arc and then what i decided after you've seen all in blue it kind of chilled out for an hour or two and i decided i'd go make a fucking cup of tea get someone to eat because i hadn't had breakfast and i came back to them basically smashing through the front of the fucking wall so was this the end for us are we finished on arc no obviously not because i don't like taking a hit and you know just quitting we decided we'd set out to take a small tribe server and that is exactly what we were going to do so with the new servers dropping we set eyes on them we were going to be more aggressive we were not going to get involved in politics everyone was an enemy and everyone would have have to be wiped day one and that is what we set out to do and what you'll see in the next episode going to a fresh server and seeing how it's going to play out for us this time and that is where this episode ends unfortunately and the next episode will begin with us taking a small tribes server i could have easily you know not showed this windled it round but this is the true nature of arc and this is what goes on and i wanted to show the full experience of arc and the reality of it and how it actually plays out hopefully you've been enjoying the episodes the series and the content on the channel as late if you do hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out drop a comment let me know your feelings on arc and how it's playing out for you and if you want drop a like share the video and get it out to more people because it's always appreciated and i'll catch you in the next video cheers